Yo, what's up? It's PQ Kid Nene here, and today I'm going to be explaining the changes. Yes, again, more changes to Team V and also PQ Kid Nene Studios. You probably remember that Team V was originally meant to be a publisher. Um, it was originally meant to be a publisher, but that would mean we'd have to go through a bunch of business stuff. So we decided to simplify it by. Basically, Team V is still a compilation of our mini teams, but the teams themselves, the mini teams, will be the teams that publish and develop the game, while Team V just simply compiles them into one area. So, while Team V is still the overarching company kind of thing, Team V will only be for showing the games not publishing them or anything. So, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of simple, so if you think about it, uh, Cat Warfare is actually coming out on Steam, and that will be on the Team Feast site. It'll have its own pages, it'll have all that, and, you know, it's pretty simple. So in other words, it'll still be published and developed by not so classic games, I'd like to say hand the cookie jar. No. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, Team Fee will still be a company and all three of our many, many companies will still own that company, but Team Fee will have nothing to do with the actual games, only showing them off and only having the website to link to for the official website. That's all. Um, so yeah, I am actually planning on purchasing the website, which obviously I'll require some I would say fan donations. Uh, donations. Obviously there's no way of donating yet, so don't get too excited or don't get too angry, because I can imagine people are going to be angry. But yeah, uh, the site will also support ads because, you know, if people are, if people are going to donate then the most they can do is turn off their ad block and, you know, that get some ad revenue and stuff like that. So yeah, the site isn't available yet, by the way. It's actually still private. And for a short brief, for a brief moment, I actually showed a, a preview and then I decided to take that down altogether because I was like, eh, don't really see a point. So... Team V will eventually have a Patreon account where you can donate a bit of money. We can then get the site up, start get, start doing everything. We'll probably get the site up when Cat Warfare gets up on Steam. I mean, it's already up on Steam now, but I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. Uh, in addition to Team V getting an update, Pika Kinane Studios also has an update. Uh, the update to my company is that I'm actually very close to being able to get a game on Steam and yesterday, which today is the 20th of the 8th, so on the 19th of the 8th I was working on, uh, since I got some complaints on the story of a succubus named Candace where people didn't like the fact that I overcapitalized every starting letter which, as it, if you read my descriptions You'll always see that I always capitalise every first letter, it's just a habit, I, I can't get over it. But, because it's a game, people are going to be more iffy about it, so I decided to try and painstakingly go through every single bit of dialogue, every line of dialogue, and also the fact if you saw my game job post, I also decided to change the coding, I, I actually code, well I didn't code it, I put in a code where you can use uh, backslash N and then in those weird like three looking brackets, I don't know what they're called and then you put in the name oh no, 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 no actually there isn't, it's just no, it's, it's a square bracket No. and you put in a name and then do whatever and it shows in a separate window just above it I decided to painstakingly do that as well, so yeah, uh, sorry for the eighth month or six month, a long time gap between this update and the last update, but I still haven't 
fix the Ice Temple of Eternal, whatever the fuck I'm gonna call it. I still haven't fully done it. I still haven't done it. But yeah, I'll be also getting ready for a Steam release at any point. Um, uh, basically what I'll do is I'll finish the Ice Temple of Eterna, Eterna Ice Temple, all that, whatever. I'll fix that. Not fix it, I'll, I'll finish it. And then after that will be end of demo, so the demo will have a decent amount of content in it. And then after that there'll be more story, and then a little bit of a sneaky peeky. Um, I was actually planning on having multiple campaigns, which I was originally planning on having as DLC, and then I thought, if people are paying for a game on RPG Maker, they're not exactly going to want to pay for DLC. So I just decided to have a, a decent price, $3.99, maybe even $5.99, bump it up, I don't know. And add, just add the other campaigns in the game, naturally. So in other words, when you play the game, uh, when you start a new game as well, it loads an auto save, which would be save 17 for some reason, even though I called it a certain save. But yeah, it'll auto save, and it'll be on a save that you can't get, and then it loads that, and then it loads the alternate campaigns. Which will obviously be, um, there'll be continuations of the story, but it'll also be from a different perspective as well. Because I have, I have ideas for this game, I have ideas, and I know what the second campaign is going to be, and, well I know what the second campaign is going to be, not 100% certain on the third one though, because there's going to be three different campaigns. Uh, the third campaign might just be, might just be like in Sonic, where, where pretty much all, a lot of the Sonic games have few campaigns and then it's like the last one is just called the last campaign and it's like mixing both the campaigns together or all the campaigns together like in Sonic 06 where it's like you play you play as the Sonic campaign you play as the Shadow campaign and then it's the Silver campaign and then you beat all those and you get the last campaign when you play as all of them or Sonic Heroes for example there's always a last campaign so it might just be Basically, the second campaign is going to be the same campaign, but from someone else's perspective. Not going to say who it is, not going to spoil too much, no. so it's going to be from someone else's perspective, while still continuing the story. So yeah, it'll still continue the whole chapter, it won't go back to chapter 1, it'll still continue the story. And then, but the way it's going to work is, in fact, no, 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 I'm not even going to spoil it, not even going to spoil it not spoiling it. Uh, and then the last campaign will be basically, it won't be going back to the beginning of the game with someone else, it'll be continuing where the final campaigns, where the other campaigns left off, and then it'll be continuing a game with both all the characters that you play as, and then boom. Now obviously, with the story for Circuit with Name Candace, I'm not just going to leave it as it is. You're probably thinking that I'm trying to that I'm going to try and sell the game in its current state. Now, for one, uh, I'm actually going to try my very best to try and actually make the window. I'm actually going to try and change the window, which is obviously the gate, the, the little text box that appears, or the pause menu, or anything with a little bar around it or a little border around it. Bunch of stuff right here. So pause menu. Uh, text boxes. I'm gonna try and change those to something more, something better. And I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna maybe have some original sprites. Yeah, original music. Uh, I read just original stuff. I'm gonna try and make it as original as possible, just so people don't feel ripped off by buying, buying a game made in RPG Maker that's had about no effort put into it. And I'm also going to try my very best to see if I can actually get get a new icon for the game because the current icon is literally just the sprite for the Succubus, which is Monster 2. I think it's the sprite chart Monster 2. I'll, I'll throw it up on screen. It's this one. And uh, I'll, I'll throw the text up on screen as well. So, yeah, it's that one. You can get out of here. Okay, so it's that one. 
Uh, I have a lot to talk about for some reason. And I'll, I'll probably have to edit this down into something interesting, otherwise people aren't going to be very interested. So anyway, I've been your host, Peaky Kinene. This has been Peaky Kinene Chat, and you've all been fantastic. So until the next video, I say bye-bye.